Walter seems to, oh. Ooh, is that a real cane pole? Yeah, a cane pole. Oh, oh you got it. I got him. Woo! I don't know what kind of crab that is. Check this out. Two fish, three. <laughs> Look at them, they're just all sleeping. Oh, there's hundreds. What is going on, crows? Welcome back to another video. We're inside the Airbnb. Hey, Paul. Brenton. Brenton is here. Jake, one. Oh. Are you sleeping? Oh. Got football going. This is uh, the Airbnb, fellas. We're here for the next week. Now I'm just doing a little bit of editing. Kitchen's awesome. We've accumulated some trash over the last day or two. Bathroom, decided to give you a little tour, you know, a little MTV Cribs. This is my room. We're here <sighs> for the next week. And today's video plan is to go tide pooling. Y'all know the tide pools in Hawaii have just blown away any other place. So today, we're gonna go hunting in those. First things first though, in order to catch the fish, we need to get supplies. And that requires us to go to Walmart. Oh Can't do what we're doing without making a stop at Walmart. Imagine going underwater and just hitting it with that, that pole spear. You have a spear. pole spear. They have pole spears at Walmart? Put this little thing around your wrist when it's not zip tied, yep. and then you just pull it back to here, and you, then your fish swims in front of it, and then you just swim, 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 swim. Oh, yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah, here, I'll show you guys. Oh it my looks gosh. just like that. Yep, um, that's exactly what it is. They even have barbs, like fishing hooks. Imagine just. But we, we didn't come to get these. We actually came to get this, this stuff over here. Uh, fish nets. Obviously, this is a little small, but we'll get, I think, these bigger size ones. That, that one is right a crab there. trap, I think. Oh. Two nets, should be plenty. Renton's got one. Got, and I've got, got one. one. And we can see who can catch the most fish. Oh, yeah. But I know we're going to catch stuff because just the other day, we were at the tide pools and I ended up catching a zebra eel with my hands. I also caught uh, this weird mullet slash shiner thing. I've never even seen it before. They don't, they don't have them back where we're from. But. There's some crazy fish, and I know we're gonna run into a lot more different species, and with a net, we have a thousand times better chance to catch them. It'd be kinda cool to get a fish. Maybe we should do a fish trap. If you wanna see a fish trap in a tide pool, smash the like button. There's a floating bait holder. They see, they don't have this stuff back in our states. We're all our states, but like back we're in- We're still in the country, though. We're still in the country. Back in like our other states, yes. they don't have these. What is that? A uh, uh, polyethylene upper ring. So it's a bait motel, you keep yeah. your bait alive. Bait motel. <gasps> Is that a real cane pole? Yeah, a cane pole. Oh my. This Walmart's different. Gosh, bro, this is a primitive Walmart. <laughs> this one comes with everything. Oh. <laughs> this one's got hooks and leader and everything. Dude, 100% getting that. I'm gonna get a cane pole. We're gonna have to get some shrimp somewhere, but these hooks are perfect. Fish nets, cane pole, oh, weights, weights, hooks. hooks. We need bait. Shrimp. Yes. They're in the frozen section. Got it. Shrimp and then we're out of here. <laughs> oh my god, Brent, that's your name. Hey, buddy. He's just a seal chilling. Did he sneeze? He did you sneeze? sneeze? Yes, you did. That is the cutest thing ever. Hi, buddy. Oh my gosh. Oh my is, gosh, there's a seal. Don't attack us, this please. This is the best day of my life. What do you think, Brenton? I love him. Am I allowed to touch him? We just walked up to the tide pools and Buddy's just chilling right there. Hey, Buddy. He's probably not the friendliest. He's a wild seal. We walked up and saw a seal. I thought it was a rock and Paul was just walking like he was about, you were about to walk I over I was about him. to walk over the seal. We have officially made it to the beach with all of our supplies that we have just got from Walmart. Brenton, are you ready to see what we can catch? Yeah, These I'm These tide ready. pools are unlike anywhere else. He's I, so amused I by that I love seal. this seal, bro. I've never seen a seal in person. <laughs> this beach is over 4,800 miles from my home in Florida. So we're gonna see some stuff we've never seen before. The tide pools are unlike anywhere else before. Tire coach is filled with tide pools. We've got a lot of walking and searching to do. We're gonna be fishing. Bre me and Brenton are exploring the coast of Hawaii and you're coming along with us. Tide pool time. Gang. I can't even get them off the rock without getting spined. This is a phenomenally bad idea. I, I can't even get them off the rock. We found a sea urchin, um, probably one of hundreds that we'll see today, but it's the first thing we saw. And we can't get him off the rock because he, he's got full spines ready to prick us. Oh, you got I it! Got him! Brenton got it! 
He probably worked for that for like three months. That is crazy, dude. First thing we found is a sea urchin. Unlike any other I've ever seen, that is a crazy looking. Look at him walk. Dude, he's full on walking on your hand. Kind of wish we were on a better tide. This is a high tide. What is this? But I'm sure we'll see stuff. What is that? It's a different kind of sea urchin. What the heck are you? That's quite interesting. That, it looks like one of those things from Stranger Things. If any of you know what kind of sea urchin, it's just probably a different species of sea urchin, but it's quite interesting. It's got like a flat top. <gasps> oh! There oh! Is. There what is. is that? Oh my gosh. What is that little buddy? Oh my gosh, look how tiny he is. He's some sort of tang. Convict tang? Maybe he's a baby convict tang? I'm not too sure what that is. You guys will have to tell me in the comments. My goodness, wow. ready? See you, bud. Wow. That was the smallest fish that we'll probably catch today. Yeah. What? That's one of those uh, sergeant. Officer, officer fish. Officer, sergeants. Oh, oh no. no. Oh my gosh. No. Oh no. my gosh. No. No. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Okay, we've caught a million of these in my house, so it's nothing new. <laughs> I wish we would have caught new species, but so far, we have a little sergeant major who got lost in this little crevice here. As you can see, it's a lot darker than the ones at home. They're like yellow and black at home. But a little sergeant major is species number two, and I'm gonna get him out of this crack. So the tide's a little high for the tide pools right now. We're probably gonna have to wait till the tide goes down. We just walked about half the beach, and look what we come across. It's just typical here in Hawaii. Like, it's crazy the things you see. We see a seal, and now there's just a pot of sleeping turtles. They're all slumped. They must have had a long night. He's walking back into the ocean right now. These guys are just massive. Now, I think there's a regulation on how close we can get, so I don't want to get much closer than this. You think any one of them has ever seen a great white shark? Probably. Look at them. They're just all sleeping. Nuts. I say uh, we get the pole spear out, the goggles on, and get out there in the ocean. of our lives. <laughs> We're getting sucked around by rip currents, thrown into rocks full of sea urchins, and there wasn't really many fish to spear. I gave it a shot at one or two fish and I missed completely. We're gonna have to give the pole spearing maybe another, maybe another shot a different time. Todd should be a little bit lower. Maybe we can go give the tide poles another try. Sorry to wake you, buddy. He's still here. It's been a couple hours since uh, I was last here. I wanted the tide to drop a little bit. The tide was super high. Now the tide is exactly where we want it. It's kind of crazy that I'm just chilling right here with this seal. I've named him uh, Walter, by the way. It's time to tide pool hunt. What I'm going to do is I'm going to try to bring the camera a little bit, but you know, I'm going to grab this GoPro right here. It is almost exactly where we want it now. If you look in the distance there, you see all that motion? That right there is fish stuck inside the tide pool. You'd expect a lot more fish to be in here. Unfortunately, this one is completely dead zone. Oh, look at the size of him. Oh, he jumped over. Dang it. Oh my God, how did I let that happen? How did I let that happen? There's a monster goby sitting right here. I literally go to net him. He jumps over and into there. Rookie tide pool mistake right there, folks. I won't lie to you, I would typically pick up a lot of these rocks, but right now, I have a horrible back. My back at the age of 22 is worse than my parents, and um, that's not great. I lifted the rock trying to get the eel the other day, and my back was tweaked for three days straight, and it's painful. So, I'm gonna try to stay away from lifting heavier rocks, but we can lift stuff like this. Nothing. This is the literal rock that messed my back up, and I can see why. I mean, it's literally massive. That is a big old crab. I don't know what kind of crab that is. Holy smokes, that thing was huge. Check this out. Another sea cucumber. 
Stan peeing? Oh, he's peeing. Look at him. Oh my goodness. I want that one right there. That was just a Morris Idol, which is one of the craziest reef fish. And they're just chilling in these little tide pools. It's a little deep for me to get with the net. That cane pole might've come in handy right now. Lots of convict tangs as well. Oh my gosh. I caught him with my bare hand. Holy sh <laughs> Two fish, three. <laughs> I'm not kidding you, Kaferos. I put my hand in a hole and I caught three fish with my bare hands. And you know what's crazy is two of them are actually convict tangs. As you can see, look at these convict tangs. With my bare hands, I just caught two of them. Look at that, there's one. There is two. Two convict tangs. They're so pretty. See you later. And then this guy, which I believe is a sergeant major, but that dot's really throwing me off. And a lot of these fish are new species to me because obviously I'm not from here. So it's really cool to find fish like this. I'm not sure, we, oh, see you later, bud. Not sure exactly what that is, but I did just catch two convict tangs and that with my bare hands. The net didn't even help. It just prevented them from going a different way. Oh, there's hundreds. I am most definitely about to catch some. Yep, I got one. So there's just a whole school of these little guys. This is exactly what I just caught, but a baby version. And there's just a bunch of these right here. See you later, bud. How cool is this? It looks like mountains. Now, obviously, this is just a couple days into my trip. It's so low me out here right now. Brenton is on a life raft currently surviving in another bay area, but he's on the other side of the island, so I came to finish off this tide pool. But we got to experience some cool stuff. Saw an eel, went swimming, attempted to shoot a fish, missed. The water clarity wasn't the greatest, but it was awesome to be down there. I don't think I've ever pole speared in my life as well. That was the first. And of course, we explored all the tide pools, which we ended up seeing so many cool things and caught a variety of really cool species. A zebra eel. I've got one of those in my aquarium back at home. These tide pools are loaded with fish. Unfortunately, it is quite difficult to catch them with a net. I thought it was gonna be a lot easier uh, since I went and caught a couple with my hand, but I believe if we were to do a fish trap in one of these, we would crush it. Throw some shrimp in a trap and see what we can catch. 15,000 likes, I'm putting a trap inside one of these tide pools. I leave in just a few days, so start smashing. Now typically, of course, we're back home. We've done a lot of traveling, the Amazon, now in Hawaii, Costa Rica in January, got some really cool stuff. Typically our videos are filmed on the farm, so if you're new here, welcome. You found me on a Hawaii video with a seal. It's Walter, by the way. Walter is quite friendly too, and he's tagged, which is awesome. I assume that they've tagged him so they can keep track of Walter. All in all, today was a really, really fun day. If you enjoyed the video, make sure, do me a favor, go down below, subscribe, and I believe I wanna do Vlogmas again next month. That is where I post at least minimum of five times a week, Monday through Friday, or do my best to do so. If you wanna see that, make sure to let me know in the comments down below, or just smash that like button. Walter seems to, oh, oh. Okay, Walter, Walter, are you leaving me? Walter, no. Walter is going back to the ocean. How crazy is this? We're witnessing a seal go back to the ocean to end the video. Oh, that is so cool. Look at him. It's time to go back home, huh, bud? See you later. That is so awesome. Bye, Walter. I love you and I wish you the best of luck in life. That is a perfect way to end off the video. Thank you all so much for watching. We'll see you right back here in the next one. Peace.